MotherEarthRadio.rocks. Uncle Air with you, and it's time to go inside the disc. Well, this week, we're going all the way to North America, Ottawa Valley in Ontario, Canada, and speak with one of the lead guys of uh, Murder by the Lake, J.J. Staley. How you doing, J.J.? Good, sir. How are you? All right. Man, we're spinning your uh, music here. We got a lot of uh, requests, especially for uh, Something About Mary and Murder by the Lake, you know, kind of the theme yep. song there. Before we get going now, I don't get personal here and ask a lot of personal questions, but what was 15-year-old J.J. Staley doing when you picked up the first first instrument found out you liked music? Um, the first instrument I actually got was uh, a, a Fender P bass, and I was playing in a punk band from the age of 15 till I was 18, and then I actually stopped playing music for a long time. Um, just stopped writing, stopped playing everything else, and I joined the military, Canadian Forces. Uh, probably about two years after I got in, I met my future ex-wife, and we went to a party one night, and the guy said, hey, does anybody want to play guitar? And I said, I'll play guitar. And he passed me over an acoustic guitar, just a Sears brand, you know, $50 guitar. And I played that all night for everybody there, and on the way, or the night that I, that night when I left, I went to give him back the guitar, and he's like, no, man, he goes, you play it better than I do, you can have it. And so I took it home, and there it sat for probably another four years. And, uh, yeah, I, I, after that, I started writing again, and uh, that's where Tales from the Lake came from. It's cause it was kind of like track one there, Things I Remember. Yep. Does that have something to do with that song? Um, It's got a lot to do with a girl I was dating at the time when I was playing punk music, yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, let's go ahead and play that song right now as we get going on Inside the Disc. Here, I want you to announce it, man. Uh, this is Things I Remember off the Tales from the Lake, heard about the Lake Band. Years 
old feel 20 And our lives have just restarted Things I remember, man. I'm loving it here, man. We got Murder by the Lake here. I've been waiting for this for such a longest time. We got J.J. Staley on here, and man, that song is so cool. Let's talk a little bit about Felix, man. Lee Guitar. He he sounds so yep. like raw. There's no like special effects. It's just heart driven raw guitar. Yeah, he's uh he again came from the same background I did. He played um as a teenager in punk bands in Quebec. So he joined the forces, he stopped playing in punk bands and realized that blues was his true calling. And he loves blues music and rock music with a passion. And so that's where a lot of his sound comes from. Does he come in with a lot of the co writing or who co writes and who's the writer behind the lyrics? I am. I, I write all the songs. The only song uh, that we did together was Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers, the three of us wrote together and that's a really cool song it's kind of got that military feel and you you both were in the armed services so uh is that yeah. what band of brothers is all about or you know it's got the uh the bob seeger on the road again you know exactly it's basically about touring band and just all the crap you go through as a touring band i.e you know playing the same shows every night like the same songs every night and just traveling from t- town to town missing your family and just wanting to be home with your family and you know you go into the bridge there and we sing about how we get ripped off by uh, the people that run the bars and stuff. So that's basically what that song's about, is uh, just being a touring band. Well, I like it tonight because we have the band of brothers here themselves murdered by the lake. And here is, it's one of our most requested songs too, you know, band of brothers here on Inside the Disc.
smoothearthradio.rocks on Inside the Disc. Uncle Lair with you with a band of brothers, man. J.J. Staley, man, with me. Your CD is just, it's not overproduced at all. It's not underproduced. It's just, it reminds me, uh, you know, maybe you just took a, a really good mic in there and just jammed, you know, and got a really good recording because it, it's all there, man, without the, uh, the special digital effects and all that. Yeah, the the guy that recorded this, Damon Krieger at Half String Studios, um, when we first went in there, he asked us basically what I want or what we wanted, and I'd already discussed it with the guys, and I said, you know, we want it just to sound like basically we're at a jam session, and that's what we wanted. We didn't want huge special effects. Now, if you listen to uh, My Girl Across the Sea, about the only thing that we've got in there that's a special effect is basically just, I can't remember the name of the instrument or the thing now, but it's a magnet basically and you hold it over the string and it just makes that humming noise so it sounds like you're drawing a, it's an e-bow that's it but you, it, it makes it sound like you're drawing a bow across the string so those are basically the only effects that we used on the whole album everything else was you know just simple mics and simple amps and that's it yeah i remember jimmy page used a bow yeah that's what we were going for with the beginning of the song that just that long drawn out first note for my girl across the sea well, I tell you what, this is a great song here. Before we get into track three here, Low Life, which is a song. Yep. You know, come on, tell us a little bit about that. Um, Criminal Low activity? Life, actually, <laughs> well, my brother-in-law, he was in the Canadian Forces also. And when he got out, uh, I was over at his house one night, and he said, you know, wouldn't it be funny if I got, if I became a cop and, you know, I ripped people off and took, if they had drugs on them, I'd just basically take the drugs and go sell the drugs and keep the money in my I thought that's hilarious because it's true, you know, easy way to make money. So I went home that night and I, I wrote a song about it. He didn't do it. He's, he's not the OPP at all, like the Ontario Provincial Police. He has nothing to do with that. It's uh, it's just uh, an ode to what could have been. And I hear you. It's too often that <laughs> bullshit goes on all the time, man. Yeah, um, you know, I, mean, I hear you. I'm for the men in blue, but there's a... You know, there's a lot of bad apples out a, there. Yeah, but, they walk a fine line. You know, for all those uh, those individuals, you know, the men in blue, the, the low-life ones, let's go ahead and play that song <laughs> right here on Inside the Disc. What do you think, JJ? Yeah. You got something to it's say? Low Life by the Murder by the Lake Band. Live the low life. 